Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm here with a branded Despia deck profile for the deck that I used to top the Regina and Winnipeg regionals back to back, as well as winning the OTS championship at my home store the week prior with a almost card for card same list. I mean, my buddies found out a few months ago that Regina Saskatchewan was having a regionals the Saturday, and then Winnipeg, Manitoba was having a regionals the following Sunday. So my friends and I decided to make the six-hour drive over to Regina, compete in their regionals, make the six-hour drive back home, compete in our regionals, and luckily I was able to top both events. Before I get started with the deck profile, just a couple shout-outs, uh, obviously, to my friend group, uh, Curtis, Cody and Jordan for driving out to Regina with me. Uh, shout outs to Steven and my other friend Jordan for just hanging out with us and lending me a couple cards, mainly Crossout Designator, which was MVP of the weekend. Uh, and a big shout out to my friends in Regina, so like Ryan, Matt, Magnus, Stove, all those guys. Uh, thanks for housing us over there as well as coming out to our regionals right after yours. Uh, so with that, let's just get started. Again, it's branded Despia. There's not a whole lot to explain here. Most people know what the cards do now. I won't linger on anything other than some weird stuff that I'm playing. So obviously to start, you have your Despia engine, Tragedy, Aluber, Ad Libidum. Uh, for the Albus package, the two Fallen. Uh, there wasn't going to be a lot of cash in Regina, and I wasn't expecting a lot here back in Winnipeg, uh, so I wasn't too afraid of losing them to the Banish effects, and like, if I did play cash, then we'll just kind of eat that bullet. Uh, the two Cartesia, I think this is becoming a lot more standard. You want to see this card, it's so strong. Uh, one Albion, one Mercurier, one Kit. For Bestials, I played one Lubellion. One Sarnier, one Baldrake. Uh, so Baldrake is probably the weird one. Not a lot of people are playing it. Um, most people would probably play a Druus Worm or a Magnemite in its place. I figured a lot of the time I was sitting just on a Grand Goinol on my board. And I generally didn't want to banish it away for something like a branded in red uh, just so that I could maintain the resource that it provided I figured with how it was playing and how it was usually leaving like at least a monster on board like Grand going all again a Luber or something like that having the ball Drake just as an extra form of disruption was very strong plus it gave me the option of using the Grand going all again in the graveyard uh, after it was tributed as well as just acting as another uh, banished type effect because I was expecting a lot of mirror matches in my area and in Regina. Uh, I played the One Dark Magician for Dragoon. For engine spells, again, nothing to explain. It's just three fusion, three opening, three deployment, one branded in red, one lost. For traps, I played the One Retribution to recycle cards, the One Expulsion. <coughs> Card's just very powerful, uh, being able to recur some resources back, um, summoning back Uber to get more cards, summoning back Cartesia so you could do more fusion summons, summoning Fall of Albaz to perform a fusion summon with your opponent's cards, uh, and one Banishment. Again, I wanted to hedge my bets for the mirror match because I thought that was what I was going to see the most, and I got lucky because I was right. Um, banishment was just that one extra card that helped me especially going first to have a very easy time with the mirror matches for non-engine i played three ash blossom three ghost bell and three kaijus ash blossom again i was expecting a lot of mirror matches and the card is just kind of strong across all all matchups uh ghost bell another strong Strong card in the mirror match, um, as well as having some application in 
almost every other match in the format. Uh, you can go spell things like Holotea. You can go spell um, Big Welcome to stop your opponents like from getting monsters. It's really bad against Kaijus, or not Kaijus. It's really bad against Cash Tears, unfortunately. Uh, the only thing you can really hit is the Birth, um, but even then, it at least hits something. Uh, the Kaijus I put in as just my one thing to have for the Cash Tier matchup, um, because as much as there wasn't going to be as many mirror, uh, as the mirror matches I was going to play, um, I knew I was going to play against at least one or two. So just having these to out problematic cards like a Shangri and a Rise, or even in some certain matchups like dealing with Avermax, stuff like that, card was very powerful. I did choose to run a 2-1 lineup. I wanted some additional lights for fusion reasons. As well as running two Jizikir as opposed to one or two right in. I wanted the 3300 stat line so that I could do more burn damage with Dragoon Pops. And then for the last non-engine stuff, I played the two cross out designator, one call by the grave. I just wanted to make sure that my ash blo uh, my brand infusion did not get ash blossomed. As well as again, expecting a lot of mirror matches, cross out designator is an extremely powerful card in mirror matches. For the extra deck, again, super simple. Two Mirror Jade, two Lubellion, two Albion, one Sprint, one Rinprum. Uh, Sprint, obviously, for Contact C. Uh, the one weird card I played was Abel and Addis. Um, I wish I had some big brain reason for playing it. I didn't. Um, I picked up a Starlight the Wednesday before the regionals. And I decided that I want to play it because it looks pretty. Um, in the OTS championship, I was running a Brigand instead of this, uh, just as another Mirror Jade target to send to the grave. This did actually come up a couple times, though. Um, I was able to beat over some sprite boards that were annoying that um, I didn't really want to push my Mirror Jade into and not be able to out a bunch of cards. So I just summoned this instead, ran over his negates, and then continue my plays in main phase two. Play the one Grand Goinal, one Quartus, two Dragoon. Uh, for the obviously, we don't want to get the Dragoon hit in the cash matchup. Uh, one Dragon Stapelia and one Garden Chimera. For the sideboard, uh, going first, we played Aqua Neos and Aqua Dolphin because again, I just want to make sure my plays go through. Uh, yeah, one nightmare for the nightmare plays wins the games. Uh, two magnum for the mirror match. Play three cosmic cyclone to hedge against any sort of back row decks. Like the card against Rurik as well. Uh, three book of eclipse for the cash matchup. Um. Other than this and the three evenly matches I played, that's all I really had for playing against Cash Tira. Uh, going second, I figured with the Kaijus I could at least open up one spot in my Spell and Trap zones and use these as blowouts afterwards. Um, and it worked out fairly well for me. And I played one Dimensional Barrier as a crossout target as well as a just one card that I could side in for going first. Uh, like I said, my list for the OTS Championship was basically card for card the same outside of uh, two small changes or a couple small changes. The Ghost Spells and Kaijus that I mained were in my sideboard. And in the main deck, I was playing Eclipses and three Nibiru. Um, the reason I made the switch from Nibiru to the Kaijus was I was finding that uh, when going second, 
Uh, Nib and the Kaijus were kind of very similar, and if it was a six card I drew, I was probably losing anyways. Uh, and I found that a lot of the time, just having the one Kaiju was just a lot easier to play with than the Nibiru. The Kaijus I could kind of use at, um, across different matchups, as well as even if it's only freeing up like one or two spots or just dealing with an Arise Heart, it's usually enough for me to get more plays through. And then again, um, I moved the Eclipses and the Ghost Balls around because I was expecting a lot more mirror matches at these regionals, and I'd rather be ready for the mirror match than a cash matchup that I only played twice. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, thanks again to the Buddy Force for letting me do this, and make sure to subscribe to them. I'll see you guys later.